And now what I want to do is I want to add a curve. And you'll see, because I had a selection there, the curve layer that I've added automatically has a mask already in place. All right, now, before I start making some color uh, adjustments here, I'm actually going to make a few more masks. I want three. I want one for the bottom part of her dress, one for this band here, and one for the top of the dress, just so we can get some color variation in her dress. So now I'm going to go to the pen tool. So I'm going to hit P. And here I just want to kind of draw in this band and because I already have this selection, I'm not going to worry about the arm or anything beyond just selecting this band because I can use the intersect uh, selection to cut this part out of our overall dress selection. So there you go. Now I'm going to right mouse click, make selection, and then I'm going to intersect that by holding command, option, shift, clicking there. And you can see now it's just selected that band. So let's put a curve on that and let's call this curve red band. And then next I want the top here. So let's go back on the pen tool. And again, because I have an overall selection, it, all that really matters is this part here. So I could have just done that with a normal lasso. And the reason why is I can intersect and then by holding just command and option, I can minus this selection there. So now you can see I just have the top selected. And add another curve, call this top blue. And then finally, I'm going to go ahead and just select the bottom part of the dress, go ahead and intersect, and then minus those two selections. And let's call this yellow. Good. And I can actually get rid of this because I don't need that anymore. Okay, so to recolor the dress, I'm actually going to use curves. Um, there's other tools you can use like the hue shift and so forth, but I feel like the curves gives you a lot of control and also allows you to adjust the balance and the contrast while you're at it. So let's start with the red. I'm going to double click here so I can get this and let's go ahead and just make it darker for starters. And then I'm going to go to red, increase the red. I want to go to green because the opposite of green is magenta and pull that down. And I want to go to blue um, because the opposite of blue is yellow and pull that down as well. So there you can see I'm starting to get a nice red color. Um, each of these, red, green, and blue, has their opposite in cyan, magenta, and yellow. If you know that when you're doing your curve adjustments, you can decide whether you want it to become lighter or darker. So for example, I want this to become darker than the original. So rather than adding red, which is going to make it brighter, um, I'm going to take green, pull it down to add magenta, and take blue and pull it down to add yellow. So that's going to make the image darker as opposed to if I use red, it's going to make it lighter. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Now let's go to the blue. And again, I'm going to go to red for cyan because I want this to be darker. And I'm going to go to green to add some magenta. There you go. That's starting to look good. And then I'm also going to just take an overall curve, just make that a little bit darker. Now the nice thing about using curves is the lighting isn't affected um, because my black point and my white point are remaining in the same place. So you can see like this area here where the light is hitting the dress, it still looks like it's lit the same way. 
Now I could make this a little bit darker just because obviously with a with a blue color it's not going to be quite that bright where the light hits it. But I can do that just a tiny bit here and just a tiny bit here. So there I'm getting a pretty nice blue color. And then lastly, I want to make this yellow. So let's go on the yellow curve. And the opposite of blue is yellow. So let's go to blue and just pull that down. We're getting this kind of green color in here. So I'm going to go to the green, and just pull that down. So it kind of goes a little bit more toward magenta, just a tiny bit. And in the blue, I actually want this a little more yellow. And there you go. Don't want that. Okay, so we now have a nice uh, color there. We've got the yellow, we've got the red, and the blue. 